Ask G, day 30. Yesterday we were talking about, again, correction for a slice, and today I want to join that up with a little bit more information on the hold of the club. There are two methods of holding the club as far as I'm concerned. I've already eliminated two-handed as an option. Basically then, what's left is an overlapping hold is where the little finger of the bottom hand just rests on the forefinger of, or in between the forefinger and the next one of the top hand. That's called overlapping or interlocking, which is where the forefinger of the top hand is released and the little finger interlocks between the forefinger and the next finger. Now then, if you are one of those players that loses the ball off to the right and you tend to hit a slot shot or a big fade, I would suggest that you actually get into using and trying the interlocking hold and I'll tell you why. Basically, because the top hand, forefinger, is taken off the handle for the interlocking to take place, it means that there's more of your dominant hand, in my case my right hand, on the handle. When I am overlapping, if I'm overlapping, there's more of my dominant hand off the handle and involved with the top hand. So the interlocking hold, for my money, can actually help you to return that club face back square or close. Remember that we said that the slice spin shot starts from an open club face. An interlocking hold tends to give a little bit more opportunity for a better release through impact because that dominant hand, a little bit like a, a top spin shot with a, a table tennis bat or a top spin shot with a tennis racket, that bottom hand, that, that, that more dominant side, uh, tends to come in and kick over a little bit. Because we are locked down, it's a great opportunity to get into making a few swings. If you do currently overlap and try the interlocking hold and just feel if it feels more secure and you can actually feel that rotation taking place, that movement and that release taking place through the hitting area. There's day 30. See you tomorrow for number 31. Thank you very much.